Yo, what's up everyone? This is Douglas and today I wanted to talk about the new Hearthstone changes for patch 30.6.2. Um, first, let's just read the dev comment and see what they have to say, right? I wonder if any of the predictions that I made for the cards are going to be true. So let's see. Dev comment. This round of changes is focusing on preparing for our new expansion, The Great Dark Beyond, launching on November 5th, when Prince Renathal rotates back out of standard. Keep them in standard. As we plan for the post-launch meta, our focus is primarily on adjusting harsh play patterns like fast board floods, powerful board wipes, huge life swings, and cards that end game cards out too quickly. Okay. Some of these reversions to prior changes, our balanced philosophy remains that we'll try to make the best changes for the game in each specific patch window and not be afraid of revert changes when they don't work out or the circumstances are no longer right for them. Okay, I... I appreciate that. Um, I just wish the the balance cadence changed for Hearthstone. I wish it was more. Uh, it's probably related to like mobile changes, right? And and submitting like a patch for for mobile. But I, I wish it changed, man. Like being being able to change things on the fly is so important for competitive games. Um, finally, in Wild, we're changing Grading Elemental to be consistent with Sorcerer's Apprentice. This effect is generally very powerful, even by Wild standards. And this change is being made with the upcoming cards in mind. With this change, we're also unbanning Crimson Clergy to give him another shot to not get himself rebanned. Okay, the following cards have been adjusted to be weaker. So first up, we have Yawak Saran. And I gotta be honest, I really, really thought they didn't highlight the ability, right, to change on during the teases. So frankly, I'm kind of surprised they just went the one mana change. Um, you're still going to be able to control taking uh take control of an enemy minion right no problem it's just way more expensive it's at the cost of reno now um this card has been changed three times right it went uh, twice it went from the original 15 to nine mana to this now right so um it's still playable it's still still a very playable card just a lot slower right um maybe you can coin it out but 10 mana is expensive like reno so it will still see some play, but I, I normally recommend to uh, disenchant all the cards that are available for the refund window. You know, and if if you regret it, then maybe in like in a week or two, you can get it back and just recraft it. But yeah, um, it's still going to be a playable card. Frankly, kind of surprised that uh, it's not uh, the effect of taking control of an enemy minion. I'm just thinking of starships, right? And just getting the ability to get them for free. Okay, next up we have the Wanderous One, and I gotta tell you, I was not expecting this change. Is this effect enough to kill the card? I doubt it, but you probably won't be getting as frustrated by this card anymore. So Wanderous One is, the old effect was draw three cards, reduce their cost to zero. Now it's draw three cards, reduce their cost by three. So this is a huge nerf, man. You can no longer play big ass cards with Wanderous Wand. Um, I thought the card was a problem before, right? Now with this effect, you can't play the 100 mana minion, right? <laughs> For free. Yeah, it's, it gets reduced by three. So yeah, man, this is this is a huge, huge nerf, man. You're no longer going to be able to have like huge swing turns with this card, right? And I think that's good because... Man, every time I would see this card, I'm like, damn, what are they holding off onto that they got for zero mana, right? And they play it all on one turn. And I'm like, oh, shit. It's just a bunch of things that I can't get rid of. So will this kill the card? You think this will kill Marin? I don't know. Um, I'm going to give him a try in today's patch. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be streaming the patch later on today. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this will... I think this kind of kills the effectiveness of, of Marin, right? Like, you only, only played it, in my opinion, for this one to get cheese, cheese, to get cheese, to get cheap cost cards. Um, so now, you know, you can get Yoxer on for zero, Reno, nothing, dude, nothing. It'll be seven mana. Wow, dude, that is huge. Really, really excited to see uh, how this changes the meta because this card was such a, such a problem to deal with. <clears throat> Okay, next up we have Puppet Master Dorian. So my nerf was, uh, my, my nerf suggestion was a little bit experimental. It was only the first minion, right? Will we'll be a 1-1 one, one copy. But no, they just changed the mana cost to 5. And I think while I don't necessarily agree with it, it does slow, it does slow uh, 
the game down by a lot, right? And I think this card is only a problem in Druid at the moment, right? Uh, just because they can ramp up so easily and draw. Um, so they'll still have huge swing turns, right? But it's going to be a little bit more expensive now to do so. It's going to take longer to set up. I'm granted just one more turn, but yeah. Um, I wish it would have been a different nerf, but one mana... One mana nerf is fine, I guess. It's going to slow down the play by a little bit. So we'll see how it affects the meta. I think Wondrous One is going to have way more significance than, than Dorian. Okay. Next up, we have the Treasure Distributor. Uh, the old one was after you summon a pirate, give it, give it and this minion plus one attack. So it's going back to the old one, right? Where it's a one mana, one, two, after you summon a pirate. Give it plus one attack. This card was nuts in wild, right? Even in standard, got a glimpse of that. You played a bunch of parts, and suddenly these, this treasure distributor is a, is a monster dude on the board. Yeah, um, it, it, it's a nice change. It'll slow down the aggro decks by, by a lot, um, giving other cards a chance, right? Or giving other decks a chance to, to play the game. So good change. Um, Frankly, I thought that this change was crazy to witness when uh, when they buffed it. So, okay, next up we got the party fiend, and um, so I did suggest to make it a a one mana two one, um, and just to summon one less homie and deal uh, less damage to your face. But they're they're just going the mana round change, right? They're making it more expensive. You still get to retain the the homies to summon. And it still deal, it still deals three damage to your hero, right? So it's no longer a one mana three three on on turn one, right? You obviously need a coin for this to be an enabler now. Uh, if you're playing an aggro deck or pain warlock, um, so yeah, party fiend just got slowed down by a turn. Uh, he was having too much fun, so just making one more one more mana. Next up, crescendo. Um, it's now a three mana card. It used to be a two mana cost card. I think this is still this is still really really good, man. Uh, even even if I made this card four man, I feel like it would it would still be very playable. Um, <clears throat> obviously obviously this slows down the deck by a lot, but man, three mana is still it's still really really cheap for an effect this crazy. It's all enemies, y'all got to remember that. It goes face, it clears the board, and warlocks you know have no problem taking fatigue damage. So while it is nice to see this card get and get nerfed to slow down the the turns for burn um i don't think it's that big of a a big of a nerf like if i see this card i'm, I'll, I'm still gonna run it at three mana man are you kidding me it's such a crazy effect so much need a nerf but i don't think it's gonna do much as far as uh like shifting or warping the meta okay next up we got tsunami so tsunami has been reverted to the original uh the original cost it used to be an eight mana, and it would summon three elementals, right? So now, um, before it was ten mana, and it would summon four. Now it's going, it's reverting back to the original, right? So um, this is definitely a nerf, man. This is a lot less stats to deal with. Um, it's eight cost now, so when you play this off of, you know, the card that summons another minion, um, based off the stats of the mana cost of this, so it, it's a nerf all around, right? Eight mana is less less of a problem for for minions like uh stats wise right when you summon it three elementals instead of four it's now uh adequate to the art of the card <laughs> i just thought that was funny when they buffed the card or i don't know i don't know what that was the nerf slash buff last time um i thought it was just so funny that they added another elemental but the card art only has three water elementals right <laughs> So for sure, this is a big, big nerf to big spell mage. Um, it's gonna slow down the the effectiveness and the burn of that card because man, it's it's so hard to deal with six mana minions, dude. On like turn four or five, right when this card you would see uh, pop off. So that's good. It's a good change. Uh, it's gonna hurt big spell mage by a lot. I still think it's gonna be prevalent and strong. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes with this card. Definitely a big nerf. Next up, we have the Razzle Dazzler. It is uh, now, it's, it went back to seven mana, right? Even at seven mana, I think this is still good. Um, they obviously want to slow down the game by a lot, right? Um, so upping the cost of this card is good. I, I, I didn't think that the cost was the problem. I thought the, the mana cheat for stats that you get from this card is crazy. So 
I guess in their in their mindset, slowing it down by one turn reduces the effectiveness the effectiveness of this card. I still think it's a really really good card, man. This is a huge enabler for for rainbow decks for shaman. It's just all around a really really good card, man. Even if this was like a seven mana two two seven mana one one, I I, I still think it would be a good card. Like these stats on this thing do not matter at all, man. And there's such a good pool of five mana cost minions right now, so this card's still gonna be good, man. This, it's still going to be good. Okay, next up we have the Injured Hauler. It used to do it used to do deal 2 damage to all enemy minions, and now it deals 1 to all enemy minions. So this card, from what I learned, was a big, big problem. Because you can never keep a board uh, against Overheal Priest because they would always deal with it, right, with the Injured Hauler. But now it only deals 1 damage to all enemy minions, so it's a lot harder to clear out the board, right, or consistently clear out the board. You're going to need more spells and more ways to overheal this guy in order to in order to clear the board. So this is a good change, right? Overheal Priest was doing really, really significant uh, board clears with this card. So it's going to slow it down by a lot, requiring a lot more work for sure. And the rating elements have gotten nerfed, right? Your spells cost one less, but not less than one. I would like to see this change personally, right? Let me know if you agree with this change, but I would like to see this change throughout Hearthstone, like, in the entire game. No card can cost less than one. Just to retain some semblance of balance in the game for me. So that was the the full patch breakdown. Um I don't know. Oh, and I forgot. The Cobalt is uh the Cobalt got buffed, right? So maybe this we this will make Marin a little bit more feasible card to play with, but the battle cry is now replace your hand with legendary minions. They cost one less. So I got the correction, on, the prediction on this one right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I see this card. I'm like, cool, but I see, I see Marin and uh, and the wand getting nerfed pretty significantly, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this will even see play, right? So that was the patch breakdown for 30.6.2 i think the meta will change a little bit regarding the the play style a lot of varying styles were nerfed right i think this will probably be the less significant nerf it's just one more mana right you're still going to play this card wondrous one is probably for me the biggest change man i i'm i have to, i wonder how much this is going to affect the meta of hearthstone because man almost everyone plays this card bro so that was the patch breakdown y'all let me know what your thoughts on this is I think the meta will change a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate all the support. Peace.